All right, wonderful people. Uh, I have to check my gadgets. All right, wonderful people. I want to see if I'm coming out clear and sound. What is going on? Just uh, give me some minutes. Let's go here. Let me see here. All right, wonderful. Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming out sound and clear. All right, wonderful people. I salute you all once again today. I want you to join, and uh, as you are joining, don't hesitate to invite your friends. Invite people that is around you. Tell them to come. This is the moment of the truth. This is the moment of the truth. I'm going to expose everything to the extent that you are going to accept with me and I will prove it beyond reasonable doubt. The control damage have started. They have started control damage. They want to turn the clock other side, but before they are there, we are already <laughs> know their plan. And that is why I'm here today to expose them. A lawyer, Jimako, is a criminal, and I will prove it beyond reasonable doubt. And uh, as you are watching me, please, I want you to tag Madam Finance. That is why I keep on saying that if Mazen Namdekano comes out and Madam Finance remains here, there is going to be a very big problem. The reason why I want you people to tag Madam Finance, you know, some of you don't understand what is playing. Madam Finance is the root of all this problem, and I'm going to prove it beyond reasonable doubt. As you are joining me, I want you to go to the article I stated on my article. I'm about to expose so-called lawyer. He claimed to be a lawyer. I told you people that a lawyer, Jimako, couldn't finish his law practicing in America because of his dubious art. And after today, I'm going to begin to show you people the reason why a lawyer, Jimako, ran away from America. And a lawyer, Jimaka, can never travel to America. As I'm speaking to you people, I don't lie about what I'm saying. I'm going to prove it. It's going to be for tomorrow. But what I'm doing today is something that is unique. And believe you me, you can never doubt it. Are you getting the point? A lawyer, Jimako, I want you people to know this. A lawyer, Jimako, is not part of of Mazen Namdekano legal team or IPOB legal team, no. A lawyer Jimako claimed to be a Zebiro legal team. A lawyer Jimako claimed to be 
it be remains in Finland legal team. A lawyer Jima call is Madam Finance partner in crime. And I will prove it the reason why all this thing is playing out today. And I keep on saying this, that is why I keep on saying this, cut every of my video. If Mazin Namdekano comes out and Madam Finance is still our finance, no changes, no more people added, we are going to I got to say everything. I am the one that's saying it. Cut it and keep it down. When Onion do we come out, I will be the first person that are going to raise this matter. Write it down. The Bia franchise and watching like a Mazo Kenu Kichku is speaking. They are general. I will be the person that are going to raise the matter. They must expel Madame Finance. She must leave this struggle. She is the reason why most of our people deviated. This Madam Finance. Now, I will play a song. I will play music. You will see, you people will see what is happening. That is why we said one neler and one near. Uh, sometimes you say the people are saying, is their brother, is their brother, is their brother. Who told you people? You people keep on making the same mistake. We have told you people that the Bureau is adopted son and there is no two ways about it. There is a proof. If you doubt what I'm saying, I want you people to go and ask people they were present when they were burying the law law and the Eze O Israel Okukano Go there and ask the elders if as a bureau pour the sound into the grave before the one they call fine boy. Go and ask them. That is our tradition. That is our tradition. Go and ask them. The time they were doing the burial of uh, uh, Mazen Namdekano father. Go and ask them if as a bureau first the one they call so-called fine boy in Abana Bagari. Every cause, every vehicle they brought for Mazen Namdekan that he rejected, the one they call fine boy is the one that operating everything today, is gallivanting, building factory, using our money, depending on our own sweat. These people can't even work. They don't have a job. They are jobless people. And we are contributing money. They are using our money to do whatever they feel like. It's not going to work for every one of you. Let us play for... I want to play this song before I will continue and introduce myself. And also, at the same time, tell you people, the man in charge. There is nothing you can do about it. Now, let us pay attention. For Melon, okay, for Mazin and Carmelon. All 
right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, like I said today, I'm not going to waste much of your time. I'm going to try my best to make sure that this broadcast lasts one hour, then I'm going to open my line. Listen very careful what we are going to do today. I'm going to play also the voice of Aloy Ejimako, the latest video of Aloy Ejimako. I'm going to play the video of their in-law called Master Prophet. We are there fighting for Biafran Restoration Project. Why they are there using our money to feed that idiot called Master Prophet? He has no job. That is the questions we are going to ask. We have all the whole proofs, the way they are moving our money here in Germany. We are going to ask all those questions. We are going to ask all these questions. You know, sometimes, let me introduce myself, because I never shied away from reality. I always tell you people the way it is. I know some of you won't like the way I sound, but that is the truth. And I'm not going to lie about that. It's a lot of mistakes. But I'm going to break it down today. I know some of you will say that Bia franchise. Maybe some of you will go out there saying that, are you attacking Mars? And I do not. But the mistake is something that I will keep on pointing out. And that is the things that we are going to change, whether they like it or not. A lawyer, Jim is not working for Mars and Namdekan. He's working against Mars and Namdekan. A lawyer, Jim went to national television media room in that contraption begin to make a damage control we are going to play that video and we are going to analyze it and then you people will begin to understand that our lawyer jimako is a double agent our lawyer jimako is a big time criminal and our lawyer jimako have to be expelled not expelled he have to be we have to remove him from, you know, going to visit Mazen Namdekano. And that is something that we are going to start. The campaign that our lawyer, Jim should stop seeing Mazen Namdekano. As Mazen Namdekano himself have understood and understand at the same time that our lawyer, Jim is double agent. You people don't know the reason why Mazen Namdekano forced a lawyer, Jim to bring out this letter. I told you people. The game just started. But very soon the game will be over. We are going to deal with every one of them. I keep on saying about machineries. That is why I'm, I, I, I keep on saying that. You see all these things that we are seeing today. We don't supposed to be seeing it. Look at our lawyer Jim Galanvantin. Talking all sort of rubbish. And he will go home and sleep and relax. Nothing will happen. On what he hear name, fine boy is there roaming around like idiots, going why they are killing our people today in Biafra land. Nothing have happens to them because nothing will happens to you. That is why you see infiltrators are coming every day. That is why you see the criminality in Biafra land can never stop because. They did not put things in its place. There is no missionaries. And I will keep on saying this. When we say this, then we tell you, go on the ground and go and bazienna these people. No, in our bazifono, am I there when all these things started? We are now beginning to see what have happened. That is why we are here to correct it. That is why I keep on saying. If Mazen Namdekano comes out and Madam Finance did not audit our money and tell us how much he has on her disposal 
and Madame Finance did not step down, we are going to, there are going to be a war. Go and go write it down. Say that Biafran child in Washington can say so. You think I'm coming here to lie? That is why when you when you, when you go to ask a, a, a Jimako, he will tell you that the DOS are not paying him. Why should I listen to the DOS? Are they paying me? Now are you begin to see the problem we have? Caterpillar deviated today. Is because of Madame Finance. Things they have been doing when Mazen Namdekano was out here with us, they stopped doing everything in total. They left our people. They, gain, they, they, go, they went on the ground and choose and pick some people they want with Eze Bureau because Eze Bureau has its own gang also. And they are working with Simon Ebirima. I will prove it beyond reasonable doubt. You will see that all these people they are criminals. And uh, as Mazin Nam the Colonel is coming out, our first question will be: Is it this struggle with all? Oh, is it a family business? If he said no, then Mazin Nam the Colonel have to come out and make it publicly that Biafran Restoration Project is for Biafran people. We cannot be here suffering. Why so-called siblings will be enjoying? It's impossible. Yeah, I'm, mm, it can never happen in this struggle. It will never happen in this struggle. We have come and we are here. We are not going anywhere till Biafra is totally restored and beyond. We are not going to be contributing money. We are not going to be suffering. They are not going to be going out there killing our people. Why some people are moving freely and you are telling me that they are part of this struggle. It can never happen. When Mazen Nam the Colonel come out, we are going to change a lot of things. I haven't forgot that they call a criminal police to me, which is Kanonta, Kingsley Kano. I have my document here. I have everything they take to me, and I will never stop on that. Mazin Nam the Kano himself have to also come in between that issue by Kinsley Kano calling pol criminal police to me. He must, and we are going to treat that issue. I want you people to be keeping every record. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. So they should begin to prepare themselves because i'm waiting you see that court we are going to get there if this is my case of calling police to me or for me by the one they call obunaya and the kingsley canon calling criminal police for me if we did not settle that issue there must be a problem okay we are ready and every media warrior are ready in this issue that we are. There will be a lot of questions. But let me introduce myself before I will begin to go further on my on the business of the day. Like I said, I'm going to open my line very quick. After we play this video, I'm going to open my line. I want people to call to begin to contribute and tell us how we are going to push this campaign of our lawyer Jimako stepping down. Not even stepping down to stop seeing Mazen Namdekano. He will stop seeing Mazen Namdekano. Our lawyer Jimako has caused a lot of problem in this struggle. Our lawyer Jimako has met a lot of political uh, politicians collecting money from them. Our lawyer Jimako is collecting money from Simon Ebirima. Our lawyer Jimako is collecting money from Eze Bureau, aka Kanonta. Our lawyer Jimako is collecting money from Madame Finance, aka Nen Nayanya. Keep on circulating my name. We are here. Onoga Funketro Biati. Until you people put me to six feet. 
Without that, upon this struggle, you know, I got fish here. We must see the head. Now, all right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media slash Biafran Television Channel 1 under the leadership of Mazen Nandi Okuchukukan. Here I am. I always said the record straight. My name is Mazo Ken Naukechuku, known as the Biafran Child Wachineke. They are general. I am from Ehala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPOB on that chain of command. Like I always tell my people, because some of you are so stupid, sheepishly, can't even understand your left from your right. Mazen Nandi Okuchukukano is the highest authority and highest commander in this Biafran restoration project. But let me tell you something. As he stands today, Mazishike Dozim is the one in charge. Everything that Mazishike Dozim says goes. Every of his directive goes. If you go to Mazin Namdekano and he give you a message, if Mazishike Dozim did not access that message, it's not authentic. I am the one that's going to say it. Tell them that I'm challenging him at the Chukuga Ono Chaninoko. You think that we are coming here to joke? I want you people to begin to plan. You people are there killing our people. Every directive from Mazichike Dozem goes. Everything that comes out from Mazichike Dozem's mouth is a gospel. Mazichike Dozem is the leader as he stands now. I am the one that is going to say it. You think that we are coming here to do family business? We are not. We are not in family business. Turn it around, say that Bia Franchard in Washington can say that Ma Chike is, the, is, is, is our leader. Turn it around and say anything you want to say. It does not matter. But as it stands today, Ma Chike Dozem is the one in charge. And there is nothing you can do about it. The whole government in that contraption knows that Ma Chike Dozem is the one in charge. You know, they thought that when they kidnap Ma Namdikano or adopt him, that Biafran restoration project will collapse. They don't know that people that they are more deadly than Mazen and the Kano. That is why I am keep on saying this. The day our machinery will start, that is the day that I will know that we have already getting into freedom fighting. Believe you me, we are still creating awareness. That is why you can see a lawyer, Jimako, upon all the nonsense that he vomited from his mouth, he will go and begin to drink beer now. You don't know before. He will go and begin to drink beer. A lawyer, Jimako, where he is now, is drinking pami. I don't lie about it. Because he have already done the damage control. And we are here to set the record straight. And he also, at the same time, to connect the dots. Because we know what it is. Before we step into this Biafran restoration project. Mazen Namdekan is a good man. Mazen Namdekan is so intelligent. That is why we are following him. And he get us convinced in that ideology. That is why I, the Biafran child, the one Chineke Mazo Kenno Kichku is following him. I'm not following him because I want to worship him. I'm not following him that day because he, he is paying me. No, nobody pays me. That is why I keep on standing resolute on this Biafran restoration. One niti is a pia sagisi. That is why I'm Jehu. Madanunen Nayana, Madam Finance. When the Mazen Nam the cannot come out, if that woman don't audit, don't step down and they add more people to our finance, it will never be in this life again that one person will be controlling our money. It can never be possible. It can never be possible in this life. Come here. Come here. If nah, I don't know how to put this, but we are waiting. Our people are ready. Media warriors are ready. I'm just trying to tell you people so you will know. All of them, they are ready. Keep on copying their, their videos and keep on using it to make your broadcast. You think they care? Are you the one that feeding them? You don't feed them. But they are contributing into this struggle. And you are there driving car. 
going from one politician to another politician, the one they call fine boy. I don't know what makes him fine. You know what I mean about grassy side there? Or grassy side there? And I'm not the politician. I know you, Jimako, is the middle man. Now you understand. So let me tell you people, before I will start the video, the reason why we are having this problem that we are having today is because of finance. They make a single woman the head of finance. She pay herself. She, she gave out the money without no authorization from anybody. That is the reason why you will tell the woman to come and audit. She will tell you no. But I'm telling you that this time around, when only do will come out, they must audit. When they don't audit, one no one they buy naga. I'm telling you, one buy naga. And we must begin. Problem will start in this struggle. Very big time problem will start. We can never contribute money, finish, and somebody will just, you know, trying to carry our money, and we will go to shut up. On your own, I'm going to be a franchise and watch Nicker will shut his mouth up. Just tell the person that he's lying. I will never shut up. Till everything is clear. And I got why you only grow ticket. Imagine I'm the country. I got this thing. They will tell us who bought the ticket. Okay. Now let us uh, see the video, the latest video of. Um, let me see how many minutes I use because I said I'm going to open my line. At least I want to use one hour so that I can be able to open my line straight away. My name is. Okay, okay. 21 minutes. Let me, I want to be quick so that I can be able to open my line. I want to open my line. I want to open my line straight away. Let me bring uh, the news of Aloy Ejimako. You know, you know what Aloy Ejimako is playing? Aloy Ejimako thought that we don't know his game. You know, Mazin Namdekano understand that Aloy Ejimako is double agent because we have been sending also message to Mazin Nam. You know, they thought that it's only then send message to Mazin Nam. No, we also send message to him. And our message always get to him. And he have told us that he know their games. That is why they push Aloy Ejimako that you must. Now Simon Eber did not come to that their stupid enter radio this toilet. As he did not announce it. Aloy Ejimako, go out there and announce it by yourself. They told a lot, go and announce it. Because Onyendu knows that a lawyer, Jimako, is working with Simon Ibirima. He knows. Now he begins to claim that the letter that Onyendu wrote was uh, a few weeks ago. I told you there is a tweet that a lawyer, Jimako, tweeted. He was telling people that if you say that IPOB, you know, all these things that our lawyer Jimako were saying on that interview that we are going to watch now, he had been saying this, not today. He did, he made a, a tweet that he said that he wants somebody to come and challenge him in the court. If it's not IPOB, are the people that are enforcing it at home. That is when he started. And now, you know, Simon Eberima is a very, very, uh, I don't know how to put it. It's evil. You know, all the whole conversation they are having with Simon Eba, they don't know that Simon Eba is wiser than them. That is what I'm going to tell you. I know some of you won't understand or won't like the way my pattern today. Simon Eba is wiser than all of them. But he's a criminal. That is why you see today Nelly Ofebu have gone on the ground. He silenced Nelly Ofebu. Bridget Okaf can never speak again. The one they call the living dead stone with the other one, they have gone. Simon ever have silenced all of them. If I'm lying, come and tell me that I'm lying. This is what Simon ever also want to do to uh, he's, he's doing already to the to this idiot masquerade called uh, Kafia Aloy Ejimako. 
the same thing that he's doing to our lawyer Jimako now. Every conversation between him and our lawyer Jimako, he kept everything from the beginning to the end. Every note, every voice note, Simon ever have it. Remember, like before I will show the video, remember that when Aloye Jimako came out and said that Onion do give him a directive to tell Simon, and Simon ever did not announce it, that is why he's making press release. Do you know what Simon ever replied him? I, I, I'm going to, let, let me bring what Simon ever replied him. You will see that Simon ever have been waiting for this guy. Any step that he will make, you know, Simon Eber have a lot of things about this man called uh, Aloye Jimako. He have everything about him. The communication, the, the, you know, the kidnapping, the, by meeting the politicians, the one that, because as I'm speaking to you people, Aloye Jimako is between, he's a, he's a mediator, I don't know how to, I think, yeah, he's a mediator, he's a middleman between them. Go and deliver the message. Errand boy. Go and deliver the message. He will go and reply back. They will send him. He will go. That is who Aloye Jimako is. And I will prove it. You know, everything I'm saying, I just want to water my ground. As a preamble. So that you will understand when I will begin to play the video. So that you can be able to understand every point that is coming out from my mouth. When uh, let me come back again, let me bring you, let me show you people what I'm trying to tell you. The first message from Simon Eber after Aloye Jimako came out with that is nonsensical. If you see how Aloye Jimako was breathing, you will understand that he's putting himself in trouble. He knows who Simon Eber is. We know Simon Eber now, I know him from the beginning. Do you know how many times they have told me to come and go and work with him? You, I tell him that, uh, listen to me, if people like us, if we are evil, if people like me really don't want Biafran Restoration Project, if person like me, we are deceiving our people, and I join Simon Eber, or the Yonu Nakon Abre Fungad Nakon, we could have destroyed the whole Biafra land. I'm not lying to you people. Because we need machineries to begin to deal with them one after the other. Or if Simon ever was dealing, doing well, you think I will come here and begin to shout on top of my voice? Oga, we are going to destroy the rest. Now, you know, my Otunsi Okoku sometimes, I don't want to go straight because some of you will turn around and be saying that, uh, hey, I, do you want to work with Simon? No, I don't want to work with Simon. I'm just trying to tell you people something. That Simon Eber is a criminal. Now, our lawyer Jimako, where is this message from our, from our lawyer Jimako? Our lawyer Jimako. Our lawyer Jimako, what he said here. Simon Eber is now asking our lawyer Jimako. Our lawyer Jimako, where, where did he say this thing? He said that you were in, uh, in any good state. Aloye Jimako was in Enugu state. Telling Simon Eber that, you know, because of you, I am in Enugu state to talk to a governor of Enugu state so that we can be able to obtain money from him. Anybody that don't want to give Simon Eber money, they will tag the person. With Aloye Jimako. And the first message that Simon Eber dropped for Aloye Jimako, he said, we are in this together. That he's going to fight Aloy Ejimako dirty. He told Aloy Ejimako, every of our conversation, I have it. All the whole message that I have sent you, you receive money, you collect money, you bring back, you deposit, I have everything. Aloy Ejimako, if you don't know, I'm going to Because Oji Ananjo, Oba 440, Ghana and maybe damage control. But we are going to shock Aloye Jimako. We are going to shock him. 
Aloy Ejimako is a very big time criminal. Aloy Ejimako is working against Mazen Namdekano. Aloy Ejimako is a lawyer to Ezebiro, Madam Finance, and uh, Keafia, Iberima in Finland. People are talking about they want to rendition or they want to go and bring some. Why are you? The guy is working with the government of that contraption. Do you think that you are going to do anything to him? No. But why he's still roaming around, you know, getting people confused is because we are still in freedom fighting. This is all mistake that we have made. There is no machinery. I am a soldier. Now, what can't get here? Abunkuoya, Pantimefu. In na wono bu gospel. If we put everything in its place, you see all these shenanigans that we are facing today. You are not going to face it. None of them can even come out and speak. You see that message that they gave to a lawyer Jimako for over two years. He could have delivered the message. But the problem is. They have paid Aloy Ejimako a lot of money. I told you people that Aloy Ejimako want to open office in Abuja because he said he don't have an office. And Aloy Ejimako uh, uh, have office. That him too want to have office. So Aloy Ejimako now was our take. Aloy Ejimako left America. The kids. Ebana Ashu also. If a lawyer step his foot in America, he's going to jail, life imprisonment, and we are going to bring everything about a lawyer. I don't even know how they call that man to begin to walk. You know, I don't know. They say it's a family. What, what, what makes him a family? Okay, maybe it's the family, Kano's family, this thing. But we are going to stop him to stop seeing Mazen Namde Kano. That is the campaign we are going to start. And I hope that the leadership are listening. You people are welcome. Any infiltrator that just write nonsense, you don't have to uh, abuse him. Just write him rest in peace. Very soon I'm going to open my line so that they will come for debate. We don't run away for debate. We don't. And I want you people to make sure you tag Madam Finance. Madam Finance is the one of the root of this problem. She seized our money. Our money is not going anywhere again. I have told you people that they are one of those that are also funding Simon Ibirima. They are working together. Now let us go to the, the, the business of the day. Let us go. And you people will see now. Gen unte. Kono no eha lo yejima ko joni ako. And you will tell me if a lo yejima yejima ko want Mazen Namdekanu to be free. Because of the threat that Simon ever gave him. He run 440 to zoo media room and begin to yap. And he's defending Simon Eber. That is why I keep on saying that are we in a right track? A lawyer Jimako said in the same letter that Mazen Namdekanu wrote, he called Simon Eber a disciple. You know, he want to cover up. A lawyer Jimako want to cover up. And he don't even know that that letter that they gave to him, he is not only one that received that letter. You know, like I said, our leader is a very wise person. Very, very wise man. A lawyer Jimako went back and concord stories and fabricate lies. Say that Onyendu called Simon Eba a disciple. Now you understand. Because Simon Eba want to fight him dirty. Now, they told him to go to National. You know, I want you people to know that 
Nigerian people are those that brought a lawyer Ejimako. They brought a lawyer Ejimako as a lawyer. You don't know that Nigeria can be paying lawyer, paying a lawyer Ejimako to be going there and be bringing information from Mazen Lamdekan. You don't know. They are paying a lawyer Ejimako. A lawyer Ejimako is a zoo government agent. I am the one that's saying it. Tell a lawyer Ejimako I want to interview him. I want to interview a lawyer Ejimako. I will send him a message. After I'm done with this, I will call him. I want to interview him so that no one may interview I go to show him life. Him go to see a criminal for that matter. Let us go to a lawyer, Jimako. Let's see. Well, wait, wait, wait. Now, a lie from pit of hell. A lie from pit of hell. Now, pay attention. Let us see a lawyer, Jimako. Ebon Ato. A lawyer, Jimako, now to us now to give them Mazen Nam the Khan. It's lying against Mazen Nam the Khan. A lawyer, Jimako. I think I have to. Should do, let me see. Let me see. Thank you for joining us on his night. Now let's get something. Thank uh, you. Right. Let's get something uh, really straight here. Uh, we need some clarity uh, for the purpose of the view. Okay. Uh, those enforcing the system order till now. Who are the loyal to? Who are they answerable to? Are they answerable to uh, Unam de Kanu or answerable to uh, Epa? Well, um, I'll speak uh, on what I know as of counsel. Uh, that might be limited knowledge. That might be all you need to know and our viewers tonight. Mazin Unam de Kanu is the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. There are no two supreme leaders. And at this moment, there is no deputy leader. They have other leaders lower down the hierarchy of supreme leader and deputy leader. So standing on that, everybody that acts in the name of IPOB, whether the person acted for good or bad or for the ugly, is often attributed uh, to the head of the organization. And the fish rose from the head. So Mam de Carno is very concerned about this. He never meant for things to go this awry, to go out of control. So your question is quite relevant. So we, he is trying to separate the apples from the oranges here. So that not when somebody goes out there and say, I'm a disciple of Mazin Namdekano, and he levies violence on the general public in the name of sit at home, Namdekano gets to take the bad name simply because he's the head of the organization. It's not fair on him. So having considered all this, he needed to provide the clarity you talked about to separate the apples from the oranges and the best way he thought he could do that is to end it once and for all. To start from the very beginning and end the process that is causing the issues. And that process or that event or act that is causing all these issues is his own. I met with him on 24th and he spoke to me along these lines that he's now left with no option that to take this drastic step. The question is, yes, I indeed. The, the, the question is how uh, drastic, really. Now, do you people understand what I'm saying? They asked this idiot called uh, Abateke, Nkenebu Mazen Namdekanu Mamiri, Ani Ibona Abagaragara. They asked him a question. He couldn't even answer the question. He is now telling you that he don't even recognize Mazishike Dozium because do you know the reason why? If you ask a lawyer Jimako, he will tell you it's Mazishike Dozium paying me. You see where our problem started. Because they make a one single woman a non entity. A woman did not went, this woman did not went to school at all. We don't even know if this woman have a husband. 
since I have been going to meeting with Madam Finance, she will keep on telling us, I took oath with my kids. I took oath with my husband. We don't even know the husband. We don't even know the kids. I have asked a lot of people in our meeting. Those people, they are there before me. Do you people know this woman called Madam Finance? They told me they don't know. They don't know the husband. They don't know the kids. And this woman have worked in Nigerian embassy. And they projected this woman to Mazen Namdekan. That is why I keep on saying that. If any Because our leader is a very wise species. But I don't know how he fall into this. That a single woman can be controlling our money. That is why we are having a problem today. Because the woman pays anybody she feel like. She give you a pocket money. She pay for your school fees. The people that are making bed day, he paid for them. Without no accountability. Without no check and balance. That is why I keep on saying, we have to understand because if you don't know the root of your problem, believe you me, you can never solve the problem. Madam Finance is 99% part of this problem that we are facing today. Part of the problem that the people are not, you know, they are seeing the leadership like they are nobody. That is the reason why as a bureau could be able to be opening his dirty mouth and be speaking anyhow he, he feel like. Because as a bureau believe that the woman that is controlling the money is working with him that we should go to hell because the money is not in disposal of the leadership. That is the problem. And that is where our problem lies. You see, there is something that Nelly Ofebu said. Of course, today, Nelly Ofebu is nowhere to be found. But there is something that sparks that woman. The woman said something that since the day one that this woman become the head of finance. She never audit. And Nelly Ofebu herself, we are not feeling fine. How, who are you to be controlling money that you never audit? You don't know that money will be coming. You don't know where the money is coming from. This one will go there and take his own money. This one will go and take his own money. They are just using our money anyhow even though to the extent that the former national coordinator, Ogoro, they sent almost 250,000 euros they wired into that man's account. And I begin to ask myself, so we are here contributing. They are using our money to pay some people. That is why I said, when Mazen Namdekan comes out, if this woman remains there, then we will ask a more big questions to Mazen Namdekan himself. We are going to ask Mazen Namdekan himself a question. If he comes out and that woman still remains there, she never audit, she never tell us how much we have, she never tell us how much they have spent it or how much they have stolen, we are going to begin to ask Mazen Namdekan himself a question. We are not going to take it again. You think we are joking? I'm just telling you how I'm getting my mind prepared because I'm already, I'm ready for anything that could will come out or will be after all this thing that I'm saying now. Do you know how many years I never traveled? Because of, um, because of Biafran restoration, do you know? And do you think that I'll come here and begin to say, yes sir, yes sir, or okay, yes sir, or okay, let us ride the Chukuga Bono or this one, okay, we are not riding on. Or okay, we must settle the case first before we ride on. We must settle the case before we ride on. That is why they don't even care about our leader. That is why our lawyer Jimako can even, he did not even recognize Mazishike Dozim as the man in charge. And the same idiot is still seeing Mazen Namdekan. I don't even know what he's telling Mazen Namdekan in DSS Dungeon. I don't even know how Mazen Namdekan is discussing with this man in DSS Dungeon. I don't even know. 
I don't even know. That is the question and the campaign that we will start. Let us finish listening to this issue. You will hear the question they ask him. Is this letter to uh, Simon uh, 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 is there any chance at all that uh, Namdi Kano may have been put under some kind of pressure, you know, to write this letter, you know, you know, just to secure uh, his own freedom? And from all indication, it looks like Simon Ekpa is a genie out of the bottle. What are the guarantees that this letter will actually rein Simon Ekpa in and his followers? Well, Nandi Khan was renditioned over two years ago. So if he would have succumbed to any kind of uh, pressure from any waters from the government or whatnot, this should have happened over two years ago. Why now? He's not the kind of a man that succumbs to pressure. If he does, perhaps he should have dropped the allegation by an, uh, the agitation by now, considering the travails and the, and the predicament that he has undergone. So there was no pressure of any sort. I was sick. Our lawyer, Jimako himself, don't even know who is Mazin Namdekan. Why Mazin Namdekan should succumb? Why? Have the courts in that contraption have ruled any case against Mazin Namdekano? As it stands today, Mazin Namdekano is still a free man. There is no case against Mazin Namdekano. Before somebody will succumb, that means that there is some charges on you that will make you to succumb, to say, okay, I'm tired. But why should Mazen Namde Kano get tired? As I'm speaking to you people today, there is no case against Mazen Namde Kano. We are also still waiting for a um, Supreme Court. We are going to Supreme Court. And this idiot is telling Mazen Namde Kano to succumb. Hello, <laughs> why are you why you are so evil? Why? Why is Mazen Mazen Namde Kano Why? Why are you doing this? Why? Hello, why? Let us continue. That's a place that I want you people to hear. Facebook, you can do whatever you want to do. Unless you are suggesting that I pressured him, which I didn't. The topic of our discussion when I met with him on 24th July wasn't there. So it sprang on me as a surprise. I went in there to brief him on legalities, on the status of certain cases that we have around Eastern Nigeria and in, and in the federal capital. So he sprung this at me. So he must have ruminated over it, thought about it before I came in into the room to meet with him. So that's number one. Number two is you asked about whether Simon Ekba will comply. Well, if you read my press release, this announcement should have been made on Simon Ekba's platforms, media platforms. That was the order. That if you don't make it on your platform, I have authorized Barista Lawrence Michael to do it as a public announcement. So the order is directed to Simon Ekba for the limited purpose of announcing on his platform. But the announcement I have made is addressed to the whole world is addressed to the whole world in general and particularly to people of South East and South South of Nigeria and followers of IPOB that are legion. So the question should have been whether these followers of IPOB will comply and obey the instruction or order or directions of their extreme leader. So we shall see that as the days unfold from tomorrow. Okay, and we're coming there. We're if they don't, what yeah. uh, what happens then? I mean, if uh, Simon Akpa's followers uh, don't do the bidding of Namde Kano, uh, at least based on what he said in the letter, giving that directive, what happens then? Pay attention. Well, the question you put now, calling, referring to Simon Akpa's followers, suggests that Simon Ekba has different followers from Mazin Namde Kano. No, that's a fallacy. Simon Ekba's followers are Namde Kano's followers. Okay. So anybody 
Okay. Do you now see where my problem is? Do you know? Do you now see where Aloy Jimako is trying to put Mazen Namdekan in a mess? Do you now understand that Aloy Jimako is saying that those that are enforcing it at home, they are Mazen Namdekan followers? Do you now understand that a lawyer Jimako don't want Mazen Namdekano to be free? Mazen Namdekano is there. He sent a message through a lawyer Jimako. Go to a Berima, tell him to stop using my name. Stop enforcing it at home. You can enforce it at home on your own, but stop using my name. Our lawyer Jimako refused to deliver the message. The message did not give, they did not give the message to our lawyer Jimako today. He's just there lying, lying to his teeth. But now, our lawyer Jimako that are telling you that Mazen Namdekano told him or write a, give him a note to go and give Simon Eber or to deliver anything, whatever. But our lawyer Jimako were there when the leadership first set this seat at home. They are the people initiated this seat at home. And our lawyer Jimako is the one that come out after one week, begin to tell Mazi Shike, those the DOS, that Mazen Namdekano have canceled this seat at home. Our lawyer Jimako is the one that came out because he know how to tweet with all these computer generated uh, uh, responding and uh, retweet. Our lawyer Jimako, what he does is to go to Twitter and just wrote nonsense and he will post it there. Generated the uh, computer people, we begin to share it. Now I want to ask our lawyer Jimako, is he not the one that came out and tell us that Mazin Namdekan have told us time with that number to cancel this seat at home? Why a lawyer Jimako cannot go and tell Simon at the same thing? Because they are working together. The reason why a lawyer Jimako is telling you people now that uh, Simon Eba followers, Amazon Namdekan followers, is because Simon have told this idiot that is going to fight him dirty. And they have everything to fight this idiot dirty. And I have came out yesterday and said that I'm going to support them to destroy him. And I'm still standing on my words that I'm going to support Ibirima. I want you to step up. Let us finish this man. Let us send this man early. Let us send him where he belongs to. You know, my own, I don't hide my mouth. I say things the way it is. I will support autopilot to finish this man. I will support anybody to destroy this idiot to the car, that keep on lying to Mazen Namdekano. Since over two years, they gave this letter to this man, he keep on hiding it because he honor me about what I care. Now, do you now see how do you think that if Mazen Namdekano go to court, upcoming court, how are you sure that they are going to free Mazen Namdekano? If we the followers of Mazen Namdekano and the leadership said that our hands are not with those people that are enforcing sit at home. We are not involved. We are not into armed struggle. We are not killing our people. A man so called lawyer are now telling you that Simon and my followers and the Mazen Namdekan followers are the same. Can you tell me what does that mean? That means that all this enforcement of sit at home, that Mazen Namdekan is in support of it. My question now is, is Mazen Namdekan, because what this man is telling us now, because you are not going to hear it from my mouth. What a lawyer Jimako is telling you that Mazen Namdekan is a double agent. I am the one that's going to say it. Because 
We have said this time without number. Mazin Namdekano himself is the one that called Mazin Shike Dozim stop sit at home. They stop it. Mazin Namdekano came in the court, said that he won't be for land to be calm. Allah Yejimako did not hear that one. His ear was, he was deaf. But today, Allah Yejimako is telling you that Mazin Namdekano is in support of what Simon Eba is doing. That is exactly what this man is. Let me repeat it to you in case if you don't hear. He said Mazin Namdekano followers and Simon Eba followers are the same. And we know that the Senate Bill might have told his own gullible followers that they have expelled the leadership. When you ask Aloy Ejimako, Aloy Ejimako will tell Mazishike Dozim, are you paying me? I keep on saying, Madam Finance have to step down. She have to step down. All this problem that we are facing today is Madam Finance. If Madam Finance was a good woman, and abide with the rules and regulation of IPOB code of conduct. She could have understand that on absence of Mazen Nam the Kano Mazishike Dozim is the one in charge. That she's supposed to be working under Mazishike Dozim. As you are taking off the money, as you are stolen the money, as you are doing, you must be account to Mazishike Dozim and telling him what you are doing with that money. But you know our people, that is the way, that is the something about black people I don't even understand. Money that you know that is not your money. We contributed this money. This time is not during the time of our people's general, Dim or Dume Wojuku, that he fought the war with his own money, with his father's money. This money, we are the people that contributed the money. It was not Madame Finance money. It's not like our demo to make go to that use her father's money to fund the war. So you maybe you will not ask him to come and count for you what he used the money for. But this money is we are the people that contributed this money. This woman sees this money and begin to suffer our people. That is why Caterpillar left today. That is the reason why we are calling Caterpillar today a sabo. Why the Madame Finance supposed to be the main sabo? Now you understand. There are some days in our place that are supposed to be changed. And that is exactly what is happening in this our struggle today. Money that we contributed that is no money for Madam Finance. It's not easy bureau money. They are using our money now to do whatever they want to do. They are now, they have arrived because they are in position of our money. They say, Mazishike, those you can go to do whatever you want to do. As far as you are not seeing money, how are you going to control? Because they believe they are in charge of money. They are now working against the leadership. But the little did they know, they don't know that we have a lot of people on the ground that are supporting this movement because their plan was to crumble and destroy IPOB. As time goes on now, they are going to bring out this stupid radio they said they, they bring out. Now you understand what I'm saying. Now let us listen once again what a lawyer Jimako said, then you will understand what I'm talking about. That a lawyer Jimako is telling the Nigerian zoo that Mazen Nam the Kano is the one that is giving Simon Epp an order to continue doing what he's doing. Because if this idiot masquerade can go to national television and said, that the Simon Eba followers are Mazen Namdekano followers. What else do you want to hear? 
That means that Mazen Namdekano is the one that's sending them to go and do. So that means that Mazen Namdekano will come now and say something else and go at back and say other things. That is exactly what this man is telling you. But we are waiting. Now let us pay attention. People of South East and South South of Nigeria and followers of IPOB that are legion. So the question should have been whether these full of, full of words of IPOB will comply and obey the instruction or order or directions of their extreme leader. So we shall see that as the days unfold from tomorrow. <laughs> okay, and we're coming there. If, we're, if they hmm. don't, what, yeah. uh, what happens then? I mean, if uh, Simon Akpa's followers uh, don't do the bidding of Namde Kano, at least based on what he said in the letter, giving that directive, what happens then? Well, the question you put now, calling, referring to Simon Ekba's followers, suggests that Simon Ekba has different followers from Mazin Namdekano. No, that's a fallacy. Are you listening? Simon Ekba's followers are Namdekano's followers. Okay. So anybody following uh, Mazin Simon Ekba is following him because he believes that Ekba is following Mazin Namdekano. Ekba calls himself as a disciple of Mazin Namdekano and the memo containing the order in that very memo, Mazin Namdekano also used the word disciple. So there is no different followers of Mazin Simon Ekba. Different followers. Now my question is, <laughs> because there are some things I don't even understand on this. We are in a big mess. I'm telling you people, we are in a big mess. I, I, don't, I don't even understand. Is our lawyer Jimako telling us that Mazen Namdekano is using us now? Is he what this man is telling us? Is our lawyer Jimako telling us that Mazen Namdekano don't even care that we are fighting for Biafran resolution, also fighting for him to come out from GSS dungeon? Does it mean that our lawyer Jimako is telling us that Mazen Namdekano don't care about what we are doing? Does it mean that our lawyer Jimako is telling us that Mazen Namdekano in a letter stated that Simon Epa is his disciple? Does it mean that Mazen Namdekano is playing us or what? You know, I am the one that is going to ask a very, very serious question because that is exactly what this man is telling us. This man is telling us that Mazen Namdekan is working with Simon Eba, that Mazen Namdekan don't care about us. And they, what they are trying to do, they want us to begin to attack Mazen Namdekan. That is exactly this man. That, that is the, the mission and vision of this man. He wants us to begin to attack Mazen Namdekan. Because you see this thing that this man stated here, or he said here, is enough for us to begin to attack Mazen Namdekan. It's enough. He want to tell us that Mazen Namdekano is writing a letter to Simon Eba and now addressing Simon Eba also as his own follower, as his own disciple. Are you, I don't know, maybe you people are understanding what I'm saying here. Let me, let us assume that this thing that this man is saying is true. Does it mean that Mazen Namdekano is playing on us? But we are not going to attack him. We know that this guy is a double agent. We know that our lawyer Jimako don't want to. Our lawyer Jimako is afraid. Who is calling? Who is calling? Let me, somebody is calling me. Our lawyer Jimako is afraid what Simon Eber will do to him. Because Simon Eber have everything to finish this man. And the zoo government called them. I want to shock everyone at what happened. Why this idiot went to Nigerian media room. Nigerian government have called them. Tell them that this thing that they are playing now, they want to destroy what they have built. That he should go to radio or Biafra, uh, any media room to say that Mazen Namdekano is like that thing that Simon Eber said, uh, said before. 
Nelly is Simon. Simon is Nelly. The same thing that this man is telling us. He's telling us now that Mazen Namdekan is Simon. Simon is Mazen Namdekan. That is exactly what this man is telling. He's telling us that Simon Eba followers is Mazen Namdekan followers and followers of Mazen Namdekan is Simon Eba. And the Mazen Namdekan also addressed Simon Eba as his own disciple. We are going to keep it. You see this video? It's going nowhere. We have already put in this video in archive. This particular video is going nowhere. We are going to keep it. Onion, do we also answer question on this one? You know, we don't shy away from reality. And I'm telling you people, the campaign have started. We will start a campaign that this man will stop visiting Onion, do. He will stop. He will stop. Because he's evil. My line is open. My line is open. Anybody can call and contribute and tell us how he feel. Because what is going on today, these people don't want Mazen Namdekan to be free. If a lawyer, Jimako himself, can say it with his mouth that Mazen Namdekan followers is Simon a follower. That means that they have already given them signal. And they have already pleaded to Simon Eber by saying all these things. Because now Simon Eber will come down said, okay, if you have said that I don't have my own followers and the Mazen Namdekan addressed me on that letter, that he is the disciple. The day that Simon Eber killed a pregnant woman, this idiot called Aloye Jimako did not say anything. I have a call. I have a call. Hello, caller, just one minute. Let somebody is ringing my bell. Just one minute. Yes, uh, caller, caller. Yes, caller. And what? And Yes. Oh, more than that, from India. You are welcome to the program. You can contribute. Yeah, uh, watching uh, that, you know what I'm trying to tell you in this program is that uh, it is good as this thing is happening. Yes. Are you getting me now? Yes, yes. It yes. is very, very good. Even it is very, very good that the Martin and Carlo was castrated. Because had he been Mazin and Nicaro is not castrated, we will not understand all these things that are coming up right, you are right. anyway. You, I love it. Maz, I love it. I lo because Maz, let me so tell you. So Maz, yes, yes. Let me tell you something. As, as Maz, as we are discussing, because there are some things that you will say, I would like to come in. Maz, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. You know, before when I was doing Biafran Restoration Project, like let me say for over, because I've been in broadcasting for over going to 10 years, more than 10 years today. When I was doing all I this. Do, thing, I do, I do. I did not want to involve so much, but believe you me, you see how the, this thing is happening today. I'm loving it because we have saw a lot of things that is hidden. We are seeing it is opening. How can a woman yes. called Madame Finas, a single woman, will be handling our money? A single woman. Yes. That is the yes. person we are going to ask Mazen Namdekan when he comes. Yes. Of, yes. Yes. So, Mazi, you are, you are absolutely right. You see, Mazen Nandika, that's what you said now. It's a uh, special species. Are you getting me? Yes. It's a uh, different human being. Nandika, no, he know that all these things, because everybody is grabbing them. Mazen Nandika, no, we love you. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Nandika no, is fixing them one after another, because you know that a day like this will come. Nandika no, know that a day like this will come. I follow him since 2012, and I love him to the end of my life. He's a man that know what is about to come. So he's putting everybody on test. He is putting everybody on test. So because if all of us go straight down to Biafra, we will turn Biafra as the, the old bottle of Nigeria. Yes. You understand? So now, 
as this thing happened now, if he come out tomorrow, if, even though you will ask, he say, yes, I know that it will happen. That is why I want it to be like this. Because he said he need 100 men. That's the word, 100 men. Uh, Mar, 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 Mars, let me ask you this question before you continue, uh, ask, because it's very, very me. important. Mars, what do you ask think? Me. What do you think? You listened to the interview of uh, Aloy Ejimako. You heard it, right? Mm. When yes. Aloy Ejimako said that uh, when they asked Aloy Ejimako, because Aloy Ejimako, in my own uh, uh, in my own thinking or how I feel, I thought Aloy Ejimako would say yes. that Mazin Namdekano is not involved. But now Aloy Ejimako is telling those people that Mazin Namdekano follower is Simon a follower. And at the same time, Aloy Ejimako said that on that letter, so that Mazin Namdekano addressed Simon Eba as his own disciple. What do you think about that? What do you, what, what, what do you think? Yes, Mars, listen to me. Eh? Let me tell you something. Aloy, can you say something? I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. You know, eh? Aloy, I'm going to tell before. So this message of uh, Aloy Jimako uh, for the three days ago. It's not today they send this message to him. It's over a year ago. Listen to me. It's over a year ago. Because if I if I if I need your phone, you seem to make a, a program when they said and the kind of have sent a message to this person i will not call the name of the person yes if you right. if you if you what if you listen to the interview i will not call the name of the person but they have already sent this message to people i don't know if he delivered the message or not because they are grabbing all over every day now and the kind of repeat the word on the 24th as he said has you delivered the message i sent you to this young man when you listen on his broker, the breathing alone will tell you that the body movement of this young man, that Okon Kagome, that he has, he has spoiled himself yes, yes. all over. Yes. Are you getting me? Thank so you. now, this young man on now being a lawyer, he has nowhere again to run to. Yes. He yes. has already of he has oligarchy and I can't see an I can't see an abazia no. I can't see an abazia no. You're right, you're right. So all these things that you see in Gravanten, the whole expose, expose, Nagasia Simon, he will still come out, and the people will still see the Koko, Agafi Koko, Koko Kepuge. So what you people are doing, all the the, the all the, the, the media warriors, what they are doing, I am happy. There is the other day. Um, uh, uh, is on program. I called the same. I call. I'm coming from India. I called him. He said, well, well, Mas, uh, Mas, Mas, we are, Mas, conclude, we are having a more calls because I want to pick more calls okay. today. Yeah, yeah. So, Mas, what I am trying to tell you, uh, tell us is that con we continue. We, we must continue. To accord. No going back. Okay. We continue. Every of our Indian and our Mbobu look after that. You say, You say, and go walk and go. Let me pick this call. Okay, I'm listening. Hello, 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 we are on our we are on, on duty, you know. I am the we are the the warriors and our fire and I'm an iron go on. So don't be tired, my brothers. All of you, you keep on keep on keeping on. That we encourage you guys, you know, at all times. Brother, I don't have much to say. I just want to you know, still I need to understand one or two things. That is why I, I just want to ask this question. Okay. And most especially this the uh, question also goes to the 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 judge and the barrister and the, the presenter whom called themselves Yuwepo, that's a lawyer Jumako. We are out for him this time around, brother. Yes. So my question goes this way. Um he says that everything that uh, 
that uh, the, the criminal in Finland is doing, that the, the, the criminal doesn't have followers. We, that's everybody that moves, that gallivant or both uh, those robots, everything that used to follow him on social media because they are on social media, even those ones they are using, those politics, uh, politicians are using on the ground, that they are all Mazen Nam, the kind of yes. followers. So my question, now I want to go this way, I ask, does it mean that uh, Mazin Namdekano instructed him to share Meli's nude on, t uh, on the uh, social media? Thank you, Mazin. That is a very good question. Uh, yeah. I, know will answer because I have many questions for him. I he just asked, ran off from the Mazin is, not, is, not is by, not, listening. Not, ask not him. Long. They have already tagged him. Ask him. Ask him. He's listening, idiot. Ask him. Okay. Ask okay. Him. So, is Aloye Jimako going to explain to us? Is it Mazen Namdekanu also that directed this criminal in Finland to share nail your Facebook mood on tele uh, on social media? That is one. Secondly, is it Mazen Namdekanu also that authorized that thief in Finland to give uh, 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 Sofia and Co. Their, his platform to come on his platform to it doesn't to to insult Mazen and the Kano, so I think to the extent of calling her nah, uh, a chow. Maz, don't let me cry. Maz, don't let me cry. Continue, uh, continue, continue, continue. I am laughing. I know, you see, it's from the Chile Keche, but it's our mother for. I think I'm brought on the Agama Babu, this guy, since yesterday. But, uh, we, you know, I am counting. We have many questions. Us, my lawyer. We will not go about but we will ask some question. We know they fight to the only question they ask. So you can explain to us. If Mazin Nandi Kalu send this idiot to send uh, to cheer nearly nakedness on on social media one. And is it Mazin Nandi Kalu also that ask this guy to use his platform to submit his platform where they stay to call Mazin Nandi Kalu's wife prostitute, not to or not to. They discredit has nobody on the, that guy's. So even to the extent, the guy even he, he asked Mazin Namdekanu was to come outside and defend himself. He said that is it Mazin Namdekanu also that asked this guy to say those things? Alain Ejimako will explain because he said that he went to Enugu to represent Simon Eba, yes. the criminal. Yes, he said so. So I want to know that representative that he went there to represent him. Is it on what base? As a IPOP member, or as a DOS member, yes. as who, on what ground is he going to represent him? So, yes, yes. so uh, you know, I am a Kekago de Pawa to Juna Guanjo. You might do do Bribu. Yes. So, I chop a Hiku Kumoch. So, and the Oyachopi, is he going to tell us that uh, he is not aware that Mazin Nam de Kano instructed the leadership? Right from the beginning of the uh, the the, the uh, this sit at home, Monday sit at home, that he sh that, that we should suspend it. Yes. Is it not? Is it going to tell us that he's not aware that DOS has announced the suspension of sit at home from how many years? How many uh, how many years ago? Is he not aware? Is he not aware also that Kano Takano also even pressured the DOS even to do so, even when the DOS is trying to know if woman, but he said that only do said. That there is a nickel to uh, our children have to have test to work. They have an uh, exam, you know, that nickel that we have to obey it. So that kind of that kind of, does I don't know your Jimako know that it is her book and open do is kind of that kind of alive. Is yeah, he still yeah. having uh, to to, to allow your Jimako? Yeah. Does he mean I allow your Jimako and all these things? And if he knows, open your lawyer Jimako, man. What? Why does? Why would you keep proper it? Because this guy was not a defending Enugu. Me, me, know this things. Can I know that? Not even one week, two weeks, three weeks. Any of them, maybe one month. And the the, the 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 painful part of it is that man, they are killing our people on these things. Yes. I John Kahanya is the list of what you know how we resist of this that sit at home because my then and the Kano has said it categorically not once not even twice that he is not in charge he's not he is not giving these guys authority he never instructed anybody to carry out such crime against as as against our people he said it that is even Abuja in the house of Sinai Wani Namunia. The, 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 the word across have heard it. So, Mazin Namdekanu, he is not aware of what the idiot is doing. And he said that when he has to be taken as in passing law or taking a, making laws here, controlling IP will be, it's Mazin Chike, it does him. Okay, realize, Soroku, open a house of assembly, Abuja Kepurika. 
social media something. This is in the Senate House. Yes, yes, go ahead. I hope this question, what I am this Mazi of a thing because he doesn't deserve Mazi from us. A lawyer, my court doesn't deserve Mazi because he's a lawyer. Even wife. though we are not calling him a lawyer, he's a cock and bull lawyer now. We don't know. Mazi, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, my brother. Thank you. Uh, before I will get another call, I want to play this. Uh, this uh, master prophet because he is also part and parcel of all this evil going on in our land money is not coming again listen Again, I'm going to I want I want you to know that you know one thing I want you people to pay very big attention to know that these people are working with Simon Ebb to know you will see how this idiot will address Simon Ebb you will see the kind of uh, you know brain that is giving Simon Ebb to keep calm that just uh, what Mazen Nambikano said is just uh, nothing. That he's just there wasting his time. He tell Simon Eber to continue. He is the one that said it. You will hear it now. Do you know that this guy, oh, a lot of things have happened in this struggle. A lot of things. And according to this, our brother that called, he said, there is good that all these things happen. So that we know where we stand. Do you know that they are paying these people money? This idiot that you see. Even that is castigating Mars and Namdekano. When did this idiot join this struggle we are talking about? Is it not because of the rendition of Mars and Namdekano now? Because they kidnapped Mars and Namdekano. You are seeing this idiot here now. See, see his face. On other side one. They gave him a free woman. He couldn't even perform a miracle. Up to now, say one kajara kaja, and that boy the one kajara kaja, he couldn't even perform something. I'm a nifo janu super mamre okana okona kana kuwato. Kobo John we amazing kia. I don't know. I'm asking a question, and I know that some of you will say, "What am I saying?" When uh, we are coming here to say things, I don't care about who you are. That is why I'm telling you people. We enter Gota. If you people want us to do it fine, I don't believe that is why he could not even perform any miracle at all. For over years now. A copy of Bruce story. So I want you people to pay attention to this message from this idiot called Master Prophet. When this man we are castigating Mazen Namdekanu, do you know that this man they are receiving benefit from our struggle? Do you people believe me what I'm saying? That this man is taking benefit from our struggle. And he were there before castigating Mazen, as he's still there castigating Mazen Namdekanu, they are still getting benefit. That is why we are going to ask this our struggle is it a family business? I begin to understand the reason why they make one woman. Our finance is for us not to know what is happening with our money. Believe you me, I'm saying this. But you people don't know how I'm feeling. I got the reason why HWM phone a head of finance. She is the head. She is the middle. She is the last. She pay herself. She paid people. 
she do ev she does everything alone she signed the signature she 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 receive money she she pay out money nobody is there to monitor only her that is why they went to go and concoct story and fabricate lies and said Onyendu said that we should change our national coordinator here in Germany. And they went to go and bring a very stark illiterate, very, very stark one for that matter, Abraham Obunaya. They want to make him a coordinator, a man that cannot even read or write. They say they want to make him that Onyendu said. Onyendu said what? So you na go na abu na Onyendu no there. Ona agba si wona ge change that Onyendu prefer to stay in DSS dungeon and from there be operating. Very stupid non entity. You people think that we are coming here to joke. Now listen to this idiot and see how he defends Simon Eber. And from there you will understand. You will never hear as a bureau he, all this thing that we are you can never hear as a bureau now. You know, write any article because you know how to write. You will never see him condemn or support Mazen Namdekano in this letter. The one they called fine boy in Abogaleno, I see from here, by here. If Mazen Namdekano rejects something, they will go from back and collect it. And this is how we are going to get freedom. Let me tell you people something you don't know. Some of people are seeing us, we, 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 the media warriors. I'm telling you people the truth. They are seeing us as we are so stupid. Most of the politicians in Nigeria are seeing us as we know nothing. We are just here defending what we cannot defend. Because they are seeing what is happening on the ground. How people are collecting money. And you know what's part of this? They will give you money. They will still come back and tell us, listen, we just gave the person money now. And you are here just stressing yourself. Why they are there living fine. Now you understand. But we are not going to stop. We are not going to stop. Every of our money, they must pay it back. On S, on S, either we continue with the struggle or the struggle will end. I am the one that's saying it. Because we have come, we say we don't come. And after we set everything in its place, that is how it will continue. Anybody that will be in charge, we always, people must respect the person. I got a call before I will continue. Hello, caller. Yes, uh, hello, my brother. Yeah. Uh, greetings. Greetings, greetings. You have three minutes. Do you want to contribute or you want to debate? Okay. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I want to contribute. Good. And uh, I don't want to be biased in my contribution. All right. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me start my contribution from your own words. Okay. Where you just talked about onion drew. And Abotara and Abotara somebody called that change the coordinator of uh, Germany. Yes. IPOB Germany. Yes. And just now you just said that how can Onion do be in DSS dungeon and be given directive of who will change who in Germany? Is that what is most important to him? Or him getting out of DSS dungeon is what should be more important to him. Yes. So that is also that is also the situation where I find Simon Eber coming in. Because uh, I used to listen to Mazen Namdekano very well. And uh, I could remember one of Mazen Namdekano's uh, uh, broadcasts. He said that see, any day that they look for him, yes. or any day, also, start with, also, any day he deviates, from this movement, Nebupuishi, now the next person should continue yes. the movement. Yes. And another another broadcast again, which he made, he was like, uh, in every uh, movement, every activist movement, that if the leader is being kidnapped or arrested, yes. that the action 
or inaction of the followers within 24 hours of that person's disappearance matters a lot. Okay. Now, let me take you back to when Namdekano was kidnapped. What happened? Everybody juro ye kapap. Okay, okay. okay. Um, because the DOS did nothing, absolutely nothing. It was just as if they planned this whole thing and made it that, in, you know, in such a way that Mazen Abdekano was roped in, into these guys and they put them to, brought him to Nigeria. Up until this day, nobody can be able to tell us uh, uh, this man. Uh, to this man uh, Marzi, uh, please wait, 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 because... Uh, you say you want to contribute, but what you are doing here now is debate. You are not contributing. Listen, I'm going to answer everything that you said. Uh, when I'm saying that uh, is it better for Mazen Namdekan to stay in DSS dungeon than to begin to give a directive from there to change coordinator? I want to clear this so that you will understand what I'm saying. Because you know sometimes English is not our mother language. And whenever you speak English, you, and whenever you speak English, if you don't try to, you know, uh, I mean, to trying to clear it, people won't understand. When I'm saying this, I mean, most of these people that are going to meet Onyendu, I am not talking direct to Onyendu, no, because whatever that Onyendu said from there is people are going there to feed him lies. I'm just saying in a sense that Onyendu, we are kidnapped. He's in DSS dungeon. And people are going there to feed in lies. And they came out and said that Onyendu said that we should change coordinator, which is a lie. I don't know, maybe you're getting my point. It's a lie. My that question now, I'm ask, my question now to these people now is that are you telling me that Onyendu prefer? I'm not talking to Onyendu direct. I am asking them, yeah. you want to tell me that Onyendu prefer to stay in DSS dungeon and begin to direct people to go and change coordinator? Is it is it what Onyendu yes. which which of his is well, lie? In the sense. <clears throat> yes, we are saying the same thing, my brother. Yeah. We are saying the same okay. thing. So that is that is where that is where I'm coming in now. That's mm -hmm. where um I, that's why I said I don't want to be biased. Okay, I don't want to stand on the point that for people who are saying that Simon Neba is is a double agent and and you know all the rest of them. Ihemu wahotara na this thing is that the fact that the DOS to start with because they are the people that we are supposed to be trusting. Okay, but the fact that did nothing absolutely nothing okay wait 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 wait, wait let me let me let me as i give you chance let me clear to you the reason why the you know i do you used to listen are you always listening to radio biafra i listen to a lot of media warriors broadcast but okay. yours radio biafra okay. and okay. everybody I have listen. you have you listened to mazi uh shina samoru when he was when he said when he said he said that I, some things went wrong. That when Onyendu traveled to Kenya, the leadership were not aware. I am not coming here to blame Onyendu. I am coming here to blame those people that surrounded Onyendu when Onyendu, be, when Onyendu started traveling to America. Because that is the root of our problem. Most of them confused Onyendu. Onyendu is a human being. Forget that Onyendu, everything that he's saying is a gospel. But as far as he's still a human being, you know, he can make a mistake. And mistake is always a call. Probably Onyendu, we are thinking that these people that are coming around him, they are good people. That is why Bridget Okafo used an audio $100,000 that he gave to us, but was audio. Now, people are blaming Onyendu. That is why I ask you, if you are listening to Radio Biafra, you will hear when Mazishina Sanwaru said what he said. When Onyendu were kidnapped, they don't know about it. So do you think that when Onyendu were kidnapped for eight days, after eight days, everybody, because we saw it on uh, Nigerian media room, that is when we understand that Onyendu is there. So do you, be, do you think that, or is better that, the leadership just came out and said that, yes, we know what happens to Onyendu. Yes, now we are going to do this. We are going to do that. Why they didn't know anything about what happens to Onyendu? Do you want them to claim things that they don't know? Okay, and, my brother. Yes. Oh, okay. Are, are you okay? I want to. I want to chip in something, right? Yes. Uh, when Simon Epa started uh, to 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 push his uh, agitation. 
what was the statement to make it? He was like, he can never take order from someone who is in DSS dungeon. Yes. Meaning that anybody who is in DSS dungeon could be given orders under duress. And whatever orders the person is giving, which probably might be under duress, is capable of, you know, demoralizing the Biafran people, demoralizing the movement. So I want to appreciate whatever it is that Simon Eber is doing. You and I cannot tell if he's double agent. Simon Eber, uh, uh, li 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 listen, right now. listen, 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 listen. I am telling you that Simon Epa is double agent. You know why I'm telling you this? My brother. Wait, 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 wait. Ma, listen, if you want me to cut you off, I cut you. If you want to listen to me, I listen to me. Do you know that I'm supposed to? Do you know? You listen, 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 wait, wait. Because you, you say something now, you don't want me to say something. I'm telling you that Simon Epa is double agent. The problem is because I'm not working with him. That is it. Isn't it? Let them release. Let them release Nam the Kano for us, so that we can know who is who. They can't that release the Mars in Nam the Kano because they are putting the Mars in Nam the Kano in trouble. Mars in Nam the Kano went for the first court, small court. They discharge all his cases. They are still holding the Mars in Nam the Kano today. Simon Eber is keep on putting sit at home, killing our people. So how do you want them to release Mars in Nam the Kano? How do you want them to release him? How? Before before Simon Epa started this sit at home, my brother, Nandekano has been discharged. What do you mean? Before before Simon Epa became serious about this yes. uh, uh, sit at home yes, agitation, yes. whatever, right from last year, Nandekano has already been released. Okay. Court, okay. Discharged and acquitted. Okay. Why? Why? Uh, why? Uh, listen. Listen. Now you are talking like you are not from Africa. You are talking now like you are from Europe. That when somebody, they after. release somebody, they will discharge, they will just free him to, they will open the door. Maybe after some hours, he will sign a document, the paper, they will open the door that he will, uh, he will just be going. Listen, Mazen Namdekanu case, Mazen Namdekanu is a public figure. Mazen Namdekanu is fighting for uh, Biafran restoration. When they discharge Mazen Namdekanu, they, now the zoo people understand now that Mazen Namdekanu has no more case. But what are we going to use to implicate him? Now they have to hold him and tell the double agent, go out there and begin to do this thing so that we can be able to target on him. Can't you understand what he's playing? If, let me tell you, if after they list, yes, when you said that Simon Eber, they have listed Martin Nalikan before he started this, of course. When the way he's supposed to start it, when they never uh, discharge Martin Nalikan. He's doing this because they kept Mazen Namikan there. They're still keeping him today, telling him to continue, even though the same thing that Asari Dokubo is doing in our land, taking people from coastal region of Biafra to hinterland to kill people, to kill police. According, have you heard what Alor Yejimako said? Alor Yejimako said that Simon Eber followers are Mazen Namikan followers. That means that all these sit at home and killings that is happening and criminality that is happening today in Biafra land that Mazen Nam can know about it. Don't you know that that's what uh, Aloy Ejimako is saying now? He and can, uh, he cannot be he cannot be he can be saying that he can't be saying that because we all know how the criminal zoo government operates. So you never so you well, never hear the latest uh, interview of Aloy Ejimako? Yeah, I know. I've heard. I've heard the. I've heard the interview. In fact, I just listened to the interview now. Even while you are playing your broadcast, you still played the interview. So yeah. what? Did, what did you? So, uh, what did you understand? Are you telling me? You let me ask you a question now. Are you telling me that Simon Eber followers are Mazen Namikan followers? Is it what you want to tell me? It is very. It is probable. There is a probability there that Simon Eber followers are also Nandekan. Uh, how? 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 
how. Yes. How because you have people, you have people who who when they when they they, they stopped seeing and the Kano, and when they they have lost hope that even the DOS is not giving them a response. Listen, listen uh, to me, uh, listen to me. Let me stop they calling. Had to, they had to follow auto autopilot. They had to follow autopilot. Because we, we, which of me. which of is you yourself? You are autopilot. But if I ask you now, you will tell well, me you don't believe. I'm not. The, no, 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 listen no, to no, me. No. Let, let uh, me tell you. Let me tell you something, my brother. You see this life we are. I hate when people will come to my program and begin to tell me they are neutral. I hate it. I hate it. You must support somebody. This is how this life is. You cannot just be in the middle and begin to say, "I don't support this. I don't support this. I just believe in Mazen Namdekano. Mazen Namdekano have leadership." Let me tell you something. Do you know that when Mazen Namdekano were out here with us, do you know that Mazen Namdekano have a lot of uh, a lot of haters? Do you know? Definitely, every 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 freedom fighter has must have haters. Yes, yes. That is that is a must. You are right. Even as you're broadcasting, even as you're bro broadcasting as a media warrior, you have haters too, and you can see their comments. Yes. On your platform. Yes. So what I want to tell you now is that. Simon eh, but followers today as I'm talking to you, they are haters of Mazen Namdekanu and one Nigerianist. That is the people that are following Simon Eba today. The people that are following Simon Eba, they are not Mazen Namdekanu followers. Because even, if they, even when even when the DOS even when the DOS can cannot even give a good account of the, of their leader how their leader went about okay if their, if their leader trusted them so much if now they cannot trusted his DOS so much the way he told she make that his trip without one or two uh, yes yes yeah. listen listen let me tell you something you see I this thing that you said now I have. Uh, that is why you see me when you are trying to uh, say that if Mazen Namdekano so much trust on the leadership, he could not travel without telling them. I agree with you. You know the reason why? A lot of you yes, people, sir. it's very, very hard for you people to accept that. How can a leadership will be and they, their leader travel somewhere? They kidnapped their leader. They couldn't even know about it. That is a very, very, you know, sometimes when I'm trying to explain this to people, it's very hard for me to explain to them. In yeah, it's very hard to explain. Yes, you yes. Know, it's just like APC. It's just like APC trying to convince the Nigerians let, let, that they are going let to me finish, that, don't, don't take, Let me finish. Let me finish, please. Because I want to explain to you, because I have been explaining this for many times, but I will still repeat it once again. I told you when Mazen Namdekano started traveling to America, a lot of people get Mazen Namdekano confused. A lot of people were telling Mazen Namdekano because, listen, let me tell you something. We have the leadership, and the Mazen Namdekano himself understand that our people in America, we have a lot of millionaires and billionaires. Maze, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. The person that is calling, I will call you back. Don't worry, don't worry. I know. Don't shut him down. I will, I will explain to him. When Mazen Namdekano travel to America, Mazen Namdekano have said it that if people of America joins us, the Biafra will come. Do you know the reason why he says so? Because of finance. Our people in America, in America is a place that you will go, you will see an a Biafra man that is a billionaire. You can't find that in Europe. You can only find it only in England. But I'm telling you, like Germany, like France, like Italy, you can't find a black man that come from Africa that he become a billionaire. You can't find them. So Mazen Nam can understand that in America we have a lot of people that they are millionaire. They can help. As Mazen Nam cannot step his foot in America, there is some people that begin to bring money. And they use that small money to confuse our leader that, okay, we are working so hard. You can see somebody that just gave you $100,000 and you don't want to bring that person closer to you. But when these people are coming closer to Mazen Namdekano, they are coming to deceive Mazen Namdekano. That is why Mazen Namdekano was in Kenya. The leadership did not know because some people have come to take the position of that leadership. 
Who are those people that man after now the rendition of Mazen Nam the Kano now? Now he is in DSS dungeon. You listen to Abari Ibe. Who Mazen Nam the Kano now is calling that is the one that representing him? Is it not that Mazen Chike does him? Because Mazen Nam the Kano himself have understand there is a lot of mistakes. Okay. When they ask a brother to Mazen Nam the Kano that always speaks to Mazen Nam the Kano. Why the man lied? I spoke with Mazen Nam the Kano's secretary. Are you listening? I spoke to Mazen Nam the Kano's secretary. I spoke to Mazen Nam the Kano's secretary because I don't lie. I want to clear to you. I spoke with her. She told me yes. That the leadership don't know. Not that Mazen Nam the Kano don't trust the leadership. But Mazen Nam the Kano as a human. Maybe he want to try something different. We are human. That is why we are saying. The day that Mazen Nam the Kano will come out. We will ask this question. What really happened? You have to tell us. Okay, if Simon Epa is working with Mazen Nam the Kano, now you see they have pushed Ejimako to come and speak out. The directive that Mazen Nam the Kano have given to him for a long time. Since Simon Epa have been making sit at home, have they released Mazen Nam the Kano? It's over two years now. Are they sit at home? They never released Mazen Nam the Kano. What are you going to say about it? Or do you think sitting at home with Liz Mazen Nandikan, is it what you are thinking? Okay, brother. Um, let me just uh, ask you one final question. Maybe you can you can hang me up and then answer the question uh, on your platform. In the in the absence of uh, 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 Simon Eba's action and uh, the DOS actions, what do you think that you know would be the right solution? Like right now. There are a lot of misconceptions, a lot of mistrust, okay, that is going on here and there from the, the DOS, from EBA, from even the people, the people, the followers of the Afro Restoration Movement who currently are, you know, divided. Some they want to believe with DOS, some they want to believe with, you know, whatever Simon and EBA is doing. But what I, my question is, what do you think, your own personal opinion, what do you think is the solution that can get us Mazin Namdekano out? Because we can only know the truth when Namdekano comes out. Yes. Nobody even believes if he was the one that wrote that letter. So, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It's okay, Mazi. Mazi, don't go there. Don't go there. Let me answer you because... If you are saying that you don't believe, that means that you don't even believe anything. If every one of them can believe Allah Yejimako, Simon Epa believe Allah Yejimako, a lot of them believe. How are you going to say that it's not Mazen Namdekan if Simon Epa himself believe on Allah Yejimako? That is why I am trying to tell you that you have to, you have to uh, be in a, in a one organization. Either you support Simon Epa so that whenever you are debating, you are going to be you know, defending that person. Because as you are today now, you are not defending anybody. You must defend one person to show that that is the, the I mean, when you are trying to debate with somebody. Because what we are doing now, you are just, I don't know. We want to we want to nam the Kano out. That what? Okay. What okay, now. Okay, now. You want Mazen Nam the Kano out. If I may ask you, yes. what have you contributed? What have you done for Mazen Nam the Kano to come out? You in particular, what have you done? Just tell me, what are you doing in your, I mean, as individual, what are you doing to, to free Mazen Namdekan? Before I will answer your question, please. Of, of or are you just saying it on your mouth? As an, as an individual, yes. brother, you're, you're a media warrior. You're a media warrior. I'm also a media warrior like you. Are you I make my post. Uh, of course, I, I, I make my postings, which even on Twitter, I, I keep on hashtagging free Mazen Namdekano. That is my own way of contributing to his release and making sure that my tags go around wherever wherever I see posts, wherever I see anything. I go there, I tag free Mazen Namdekano, I tag Biafra. That is my own way of my own media, you know, warriorism, if there is any word like that. Okay. Okay, before I will continue, but I want to let you know this. Only sharing things on Facebook can never give us Biafra or free Mars in Namdekan. We need finance. That is most important. During the time of our people's general, Dimo Dume Gojuku, the reason why he get to the stage that he, he was by then is because his father was a, a, a billionaire. He used his father's wealth. So in this struggle that we, we are today, 
as you are sharing people's things and writing articles on social media for your own freedom because you are fighting for your own freedom you must contribute to support because today uh, when we say that we need armament is armament going to fall from heaven the answer is no people have to we, contribute for us to get this armament been, we have been we have been contributing to this movement just now you could about why would they make one woman financial secretary and are you are you an ipo are you an ipob member of course we are an ipob member I'm, i live in malaysia and you and your ipob your ipob member and you you don't believe in dos right Mazi, let me, Mazi, uh, right, Mazi, right, wait, right. let me, let me answer you no, the, no, no, let right, me, right, wait, right, let me answer you the right question. Now, right now, I, I will be very sincere with you. I cannot stand with DOS. Okay, uh, for me yeah. to, for me to believe what you are saying, can you just send me some screenshot of your receipt? For you, for you not to, I want you not to be afraid of me. I would like you just to cover your names. I want to be sure that you are you have contributed. Just if you know how you are going to cover your name, I want to see at least one year receipt from you. The same thing, one year receipt from you to know that you are really telling me the truth. And if you want my now, I can go out there and bring my, my own and begin to show you life now. You begin to see it. I want to be sure that you are real part of IPOB. Maybe, okay, now you don't believe in them again. But can you be able to send me through my WhatsApp at least one year receipt? Cover your name. Cover your name. I know how to identify or to be able to find out if this thing is corresponding. Can you do it for me? My brother, my brother, uh, I have told you I yes. live in Malaysia. Yes. And uh, who is your coordinator? Who is your who is your last coordinator? My last coordinator, uh, I can't remember. I can't recall his name. Is, is, listen, listen, going listen, on, listen. There's listen. nothing going on about... You are, you are, you are lying. You are, you are lying. You are lying. See, I don't... I hate when... See, let me tell you something, my brother. I will call you brother see, because... See, let me tell you... Wait. Be, I can't be lying to you. Let me tell you one thing. It's him. It's him. If, if you want me to... In Malaysia on 25th September. Listen, I'm the kind of visitor that's in Malaysia on 25th September 2015. Yes. Okay. I, I know how much we raise at that at that town hall. That you are town you are you are you are when you are talking about the money that you people raise. I'm talking about your contribution okay. in your zone. Listen, if you want me to call you since I joined wait, let me finish. Since I joined IPOB here in Germany, if you want me to be calling the names of coordinator one after the since I joined. We have changed at least almost three coordinators. All their names, I have all their names up to date. Till the, the, the new coordinator we have today. So you can't tell me that you are in a zone, you are in an organization and you don't know the name of your coordinator, you have forgotten the name of your coordinator. That means that you are not there. But let me answer you this before you, I will allow you to go, please, because uh, I don't have much time again. Um, only what can free Mazen Namdekano for now. Mazen Namdekano was in prison. This is not the first time he was, before was in prison, now he's in DSS dungeon. How did Mazen Namdekano came out in 2017? Did we sit at home? Are you listening to what I'm saying? I'm not sit at home. I'm listening to you, sir. I said, in 2017, how did Mazen Namdekano came out? How? Through what? Through, through bill, he was billed, and uh, the bill was fulfilled. Uh, uh, yes, was when, you are, when you are talking about bill, I, I know you are getting there. But Mazen Nandekan, we are, we are freed through the legal team, through our yes. lawyers. Yes. Yes. Mm. And as it stands today, we are still believing in our legal team. Till they come out and tell us otherwise that we cannot continue we are telling you people we can't free your leader go out there and do whatever you feel like to do and when mazen namikan told us if we don't see him he's talking about if they killed him we are seeing mazen namikan people are visiting mazen namikan mazen namikan communicate with people mazen namikan is not dead for us to begin to destroy our land no and listen 
The reason why we lost the war during 1967 to 1970 is because we, we are fighting a war of defense. We don't want to bring war to our land. That is why I am against Ibirima. He's bringing war to our land. And the people they are killing is our people. So what I'm trying to tell you now is our legal people, our legal team will tell us what to do. And we are still hoping on them. That is how they will free Mazen Namdekano. If Simon okay, Epa and no his group want to go and free Mazen Namdekano, they could have organized and go to Abuja now. Didn't, is, isn't people free the Abakiyari? People freed Abakiyari, isn't it? Why can't they go to Abuja with that armed struggle? If Simon Epa, you think I will come here and begin to call his name, I will join him. If Simon Epa organize his boys and go to Abuja and make attempt and have some confrontation and be able, I will join Simon. That to show you that he's not doing what is right. Or if Simon ever is facing those people like our politicians, those people that are putting us in this mess, I will say that he's doing something. You left the politician. You left where Mazen Namdekano is in Abuja. You left the, the judges that are still holding Mazen Namdekano. Now you are killing also your your people that they are living in rural area. Simon never never enforce it at home in Onisha. Simon never never enforce it at home in Odate Hala. Simon never never force a sit at home in Ariari Market. Simon never never enforce it at home in uh, our brothers in Igbosha. And listen, and you are telling me for for him to be destroying the okra of our grandmother. This is how Biafra will come. Is it what you are telling me? I will allow you to go. Thank you very much for having you on this program. Ndewo. So this is it, my great people. Let me check my time. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I ever use uh, two hours. I love uh, this uh, conversation. I love it because, uh, like I said, I know a lot of people, some of you, may maybe you don't like the way I'm answering him because some of our people, they are still, I don't know how our people think. And I always tell this to my people. That is why you see when people are asking this question, but these people were the leadership. Why are they not aware that Mazen Namdekan is there? Whenever people ask me this, such a question, I don't go harsh on them because I know it's very, very hard for you to, you know, be able to put one and one together to be able to make something. It's very hard you tell somebody a whole leadership don't know where their leader is. It's very hard. But this is the way it is. On one of Mazen Namdekanu broadcast, for this, because of this question that this guy asked me, I'm going to find the broadcast. I know how to get this broadcast. We are Mazen Namdekanu said, anywhere that I'm going, I don't tell nobody. We are going to find it. So that you will be hearing what Onyendu said by himself. Uh, Mazen, I know, I know. Yes. The last topic in a treat. Yes. 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 Then, uh, uh, this uh, sleeping DJ, which I'm for, yes. na, the, the, na, na, na deputy I'm a true. And DOS, now, my one only. If you understand what I mean. Yeah, I do and understand. DOS, my only, only one about him and about how Otias Emet operates. So, if the DOS, you are my only but one Six feet about Mazen Namdekanu or how Mazen Namdekanu say more bread. In our water. So yes. this question now, all are the contacts, all gonna have to join you to the new people so with this movement. Exactly, 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 exactly. That, exactly, you're right. You, they will get confused. In our water. Open a hatching water exactly. In this trouble, the meaning of TOS and the position of DOS. How to three match back to Mazen Nandi Kanu's brokers? Or even though Otu Habat of Johnny the struggle, he could let down. 
through, through the struggle, through the angle of the destruction of Mazen Nam the Kano. I'm not being a So, this is our brother Nikko Kukita. What's the name of the Nigeria, Malaysia? Yes. On half a zone here, even coordinator K. Julia. I know, I know. Mazi, anybody, anybody, anybody who IPOB member and is a full member of IPOB and is going to meet him, if you ask him the coordinator, he will tell you the coordinator straight away. So, why he couldn't tell you the name? Mazi, I know, that is why I asked him. And I also trying to yes, tell him that you. I ask him that you have to support somebody. Don't just be, a, you know, you just say, stand on the fence. On the fence. Yes, the trying to. This is that the fight that we actually met ever had a kita because near Abu near Oto Tundi by Mutana Kande Yoruba. Abu near for the lifestyle of India, no fair man and Azu. Habia, I'm not the middle. You watch the conversation of Kule and Alahaji. The Yoruba man just to say, "Secretary, you put everyone see, okay, na, okay, na, eh, na." So just like that, come on, yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, stick at the place, or can you stick at the place? Because why would you waste it at the middle round so that any side they will be in the middle on other side? Yes. And all that, you can't even anything here. You do a can't table say you are supporting these people. This, look at him now. He just stood. All I support to buy this criminal in Finland. Oh, of course, now, oh, 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 yes, he, 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 support, yeah. no, 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 support you. Mazi, I think you, you are going. Mazi, you are going to round up. Let me begin to descend because okay, another person is calling. Make quick, huh? Let me pick this call because I don't know people are calling. So, the world you win, a, the world you win a kick against the DOS. Somebody is sleeping there. So which reason? KDS, 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 no one. My DOS, me and Kamiya, cause while at the other hand, only a push, only a push. Mazi, your line is calling. Hello, caller. Yeah, watching the afternoon, sir. Yes, you have two minutes, Mazi. I'm about to descend, please. You have two minutes, please. Huh? I, I, I understand, but sometimes uh, I feel offended. You people watching, you do give uh, more time to people who are clearly infiltrators to speak and damage. Uh, the mind of people who are gullible. That is my problem. Uh, no, no, Mazi. No, 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 okay, I'll, 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 Mazi, wait. Mazi, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I do understand what you said. And uh, I want to tell you this. I'm sorry, you know, but I will give you your time because uh, there is something I like when some people trying to tell me my mistakes. I always correct it. I will give you your time. But do you know the reason why I'm doing this? Sometimes I will come here, I will tell people, I need somebody to debate with. And when you come as a opposition, like you want to debate, of course I'm going to open that line for me to clear some things. The reason why I'm giving like my own people, maybe a short time, what are you going to tell me? Me and you, we are already in the same shoe. Me and you, we are already in the same lane. So what are you going to tell me? The same thing that I'm telling you is something that you're going to tell me. We need a counter opinion. How people reason. Because believe you, Maz, I will give you the time. But the same thing that I'm saying is what I'm going to tell me too. Maz, continue. I'm sorry. But I want you to continue. You, you, no, no. You, you are perfectly right. Because uh, uh, I know what you are saying. But it irritates most of us when we see these people pretend that they are neutral. But from what they are saying, they have taken position. Yes. You understand? Yes, yes you're right. And, uh, Openly, this guy was openly claiming that Simon, you know, the problem, let me let me just uh, digress. The problem is this. When you people speak, or when they speak that Simon is doing something to release Martin Namzikan, this is the trick. We must always take them away from that top, from that, uh, from the, from, from, from putting or injecting or inducing this um, notion to people that Simon Eber is doing something for Biafra, talk less of releasing Mazin Namdekano. That is where I am trying to convince our people to stop. Because when you put it this way, some people who are not following you will think that maybe always you go, this guy is doing something for Biafra or sports on Namdekano. No, this guy is doing everything to, dis to destroy Namdekano first. And IP will be second. Now, let me tell you why. He started by accusing the DOS. What did DOS do to Ekberiba uh, in Finland? 
Uh, the DOS told him, okay, you said the uh, Canon that told you to broadcast in the uh, Radio Biafra. Oh, yeah? The DOS never rejected him from broadcasting in, in Radio Biafra. What they did was, okay, he said, man, they say you should broadcast. Oh, yeah, now come. You must sign this protocol. That is all. Oh. Come and sign this thing. Then you broadcast. We give you slot like every other slot, uh, like... Uh, 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 other broadcasters like you know, Jonathan and the uh, Ike Peters or Alonzo Agent. That was, but this guy rejected. How can you reject what other people sign? This is the beginning of uh, the, the, the allegation. The same, the, the same thing. The same thing they told that idiot to sign is the same thing that I also signed. Uh, I have it here. Okay, now, now that is the beginning. You people should don't always try to these people override you or take away the reality. They, they, they always put their own narrative so that we will follow their narrative. No, no minding the real the origin of how all these things started. You forget, you forgot that all of the whole people who were against the DOS, we are together with Simon Hater in his uh, so-called uh, platform. Yes. Attacking no, I I I, to, I I told him that is why I also cleared to a lawyer Jimako that when he said on that uh, I will I will pick your call. Don't worry, just because I will pick your call. I will, I will pick your call. I will, I will round up fast so oh, that the other people will come. Okay, I, will I want you I want fast. you to round up so that uh, I will be able to pick him. Okay, say one one or two okay. days before. I will. Okay, so after the the, the whole attack now. The question, you must ask any other infiltrator calling. Who sent his first? Is Simon Eka a member of IPOB? If yes or no, he must answer. If no, who sent Simon Eka to be doing what he is doing? That is a very critical question. Who sent him this errand? Who, who, who? On whose benefit? That is a very critical question they must answer. Who sent him, for God's sake? This guy has duplicated everything about IPOB and the uh, Namdekano. Why, if you are fighting to free Mas in Namdekano, why are you destroying the institution he built? Mas, all of all these things are just simple questions you must ask them. Why are they doing this? Uh, if Ma you are fighting Ma Mas in Ma Mas, you see, you see what I'm saying? Uh, very, very soon, I'm going to go back the way I used to do my program, that uh, I have to be inviting people to come up because all these questions you're asking now, I like I said, we are in the same lane. If you ask him this question, he can't even answer it. He will tell you how. How is he destroying? But I ask him, why can't Simon Epa take this war? Not this, this uh, the defensive. Why can't him go on attack? To go and attack those people he feel that. Why is he killing the innocent and poor grandmothers? That they don't even have money to feed their grandkids. Simon never, never put sit at home in on a shop he wake. In a newy, in one newy, he could not, he cannot. So why is he going to a place that he will just destroy people's business without no security? Why Simon never, never take this arm struggle to Abuja? Where Mazin, I told him some people released Abakiari, the police officer. They went there, they took Abakiari, they sent Abakiari to Switzerland, isn't it? I told him, if Simon ever went to Abuja, do you think I will come here begin to cast it? I will say, oh, God, now you are going to follow now. But he's just lying to our people. They are in armed struggle. Tomorrow they will still be telling Nigeria, hey, you have to release the mass in Namdekano. But you are telling us you are in armed struggle. So why are you in armed struggle the same time waiting for the legal team to tell you what to do? You see how idiocy these people is. Mazi, they won't understand ask, because it's a black people. Ask, and we, we, they can't understand. Ask, ask, Mazi, ask that person. If Simon so much love Mazi Namdekano, this guy came to his Twitter and tweeted that the second son of Mazi Namdekano was impregnated by a geophobe. Uh, 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 <laughs> if the person who is fighting to be bred leader by condemning the wife, Mazi, what are we talking? What are we talking here? Eh? So the, the end game, let me finish. The end game is this. For your for your followers, Simon has never been a part of IPOB. If Simon is fighting to liberate Mazin Nam the Kanu, he must tell us who sent him. The person who sent him has given this order for years now that he should stop. 
be should stop. IDOB is very tactical. We know how we do our things. Everything has time. Everything has time. If you do not pursue this struggle according to your agenda, you will lose. Simon is not fighting for anything. He is a paid infiltrator fighting to destroy IDOB and Mazin Namdekano. That is his agenda, Mazi. And let me leave here before other people. I want other people to Ndewo. speak. Eh? Thank you so much. Ndewo, 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 Ndewo. Ndewo, Ndewo. Um, I saw somebody, I will just read this out. I, you know, I don't like to read people's comments because I don't care what you put out there. If I, let me pick this call. This will be my last call. Marzi, please, I have already spent more than hour that I'm supposed to be here, but I want to give you this time, please. Yes. Yes, Marzi, thank you very much for giving me this time. All right. Uh, good morning, dear friends. Good afternoon, whatever time zone a day. My name is Judo Kafo. Oh, Judo Kafo, you Judo can Kafo. take how many hours, yes. you, how many minutes you want. Take how many ah, minutes you want. Even though, you, even though when I heard your voice, I said that this voice is familiar to me. Marzi, take yes. your time. At least you can use 10 yes. to 12 minutes, Marzi. Continue. Hey, don't worry, Marzi. I will make sure I do it sharp, sharp. Uh, I am from Agbo. Agbo is in Anioma. Anioma is in Biafra land. And Anioma people are Igbo people. Marzi, you ask a very good question to that caller. Who is your coordinator? He don't know his coordinator name. If you will ask him, can you give me one member of your one uh, person name that uh, is in your uh, IPOB meeting? He will not tell you because he's not a member. If you check his profile, there's nothing like IPOB or Marzina. I can. know. Now this those is how they are, lie. That is how they lie. I know. I know. I know. That Marzi, are, Marzi, That is why I told him, send me a receipt of one year. Just cover your name so that you will not say that I want to set you up. Just cover your blank, your name. Send me receipt, different receipt. I know how to check if uh, that receipt is okay. I know how to detect it. But he could not. I told him, if you want to bring my own, I'll show you with my name. You see. Continue, Marzi. You know that in uh, Biafra land, we have to set up people. People who believe in freedom. They are the ones that are still with DOS. The ones that believe in politics. After 25 years, ego man will rule. Those are the ones that are following Samuel. <laughs> Today, the greatest lie of all modern lies that Samuel Ekpa, do you know why I hate Samuel Ekpa to the core? Lies. Lie upon lie. Deceive upon deceive. This man, bastard Samuel Ekpa, just tweeted today that uh, a breaking news that the Liberation Army have just shot down a fighter jet. <laughs> And key <laughs> or countable to army. Can you imagine lie, my brother? Lie. Hi, uh... And you have people who are still clapping hand. Holy, holy, you Samuelba is our savior. The real savior in the dungeon is no more their savior. <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame. And do you know that when Ekpa always say, who no married to us, to us, as Ecuador, that the thing we don't know is bigger than us. We have now know the thing that is not bigger than us. That a Jimako is the thing that is not bigger than us. Yes, you're right. We have now know that when Samuel Ekpa will just tweet from nowhere and tell us what is going on in the court, in the courthouse. We don't know that. We didn't know that a Jimako might be the one way, might be the rat. When they blow, when they blow IPOB, they blow Mazin and the canoe at the same time. If they eat them. You know that okay in my language, you call them Nkuka. You go to chop your leg and the same time they blow you. That is a Jimako. A Jimako record is very clear. If you go to the internet now, go to US justice system. Go to that website of Biafra, put a lawyer, Jimako, you will see all this crime that all the atrocity he committed in America here. He was banned that he cannot practice law. He cannot show up in any court in America here. In Maryland, he started because of a Jimako was playing double standard in America here. That is how American people pack it in with Ghana must go and drop him in JFK and say, from here, find your way home. Don't come back. A Jimako was collecting money. Every time they do fundraising, the Jimako have his own cut in it. 
A.G. Macau was the one that was going to DOS, uh, DSS dungeon to tell our leader all kind of lies about DOS. That Mazen, uh, Samuel Ekba is the one that is doing it right. That uh, H.O.D., Chikedozi and China Samoru, they are disobeying you. Uh, Samuel Ekba is the one. Don't you see that in all this letter that he said Mazen and the Kano is aware of all the seats at home that Samuel Ekba is doing and they support Samuel Ekba? I know my leader can never support Samuel Ekba. He can never. Our leader will not come out today and criticize Chico Dosiem. In fact, Chico Dosiem and the DOS, they are more loyal to Mazina and the Kano because if they were not loyal, somebody like Ibn Naya should have been fired since, openly. Somebody like Kano, Kano Takano should have been dead with. But HOD are wise and loyal and still patient waiting for Mazin and the Kano to come out and take a decision. This man we are innocent. This man we are innocent. They don't even know how our leader they end up in Kenya. But at the end of the day, Samuel Ekpa came out and deceived Biafrans, deceived some 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 unthinking scholars. Empty scores among IPOB. That uh, right now, as I'm talking, Chico Dose is collecting $50 million in Abuja. Echina Samoru just left airport. He's going to Abuja to go and collect his own. All those things are lies. These are the people that Nigerian government planted. They look, go and look for Ejimako. They look for Nelly and everybody and plant into to IPOB and gave them money to. to, to to infuse IPOB leadership, especially our leader. Not knowing that those are Ohanese groups that is representing Ohanese in every country. Our leader so much love humanity. He believes so much in women that women are even better than men. That is how Elohim begin to prophesy through Nelly to our leader, go to go to go to uh, 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 Kenya. Don't tell the US. US will poison you. Uh, Chico Dose will kill you and take over. All those things our leader believed them. And today our leader is regretting it. You're right. Between God and man, our leader is regretting in the He's jail. regretting it. Our leader is regretting it. I, I, I say, that, that, that is why I told I told the guy that. There are some things that I will tell you is very, very hard for you to believe that how can leadership don't know where their leader is? It's very, very hard. But that is exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. These people don't know. And you think that they will come out and begin to tell you, yes, we know we are going to do, uh, Oyendu, uh, we are going to do this. How are they going to be giving you a promises that they don't even know? They have to, okay. you know, go around and ask some questions. I also told uh, told the guy that I spoke with the Mazin Nam the Kano personal secretary. The woman also herself admitted that these people don't know. The woman, had, okay. I will play the voice one day here. I have the voice. I will. I just keeping it. I will play the voice. Maybe my next video, people will listen. Because when I, the leadership came out, the first time Mazin Shikedozim came out. And said that uh, they were not aware, even though me myself I was doubting a little bit. Then, as time goes on, I say such a thing can happen. Then I went on the ground investigation to the extent that I communicated with Mazen Nam the Kano personal secretary, and the woman said he's communicating with Mazen Nam the Kano every single day. The day they kidnapped Mazen Nam the Kano, she's aware. She just spoke with Mazen Nam the Kano before they kidnapped him. So, Mazi, I want you to round up so that we can be able to end the yes. security. Mazi, I will beg you in the name of Chuku Abiyama, please play that tape. I will play it. Because I will play our it. People, my, next, my next video, I will play our, it. Play it because that will make our people, because right now, their head is up. I think when you play that thing, some of them will now begin to think like a human being. Because Samuel Ekba used the opportunity of our of DOS not knowing where our leader did and use the opportunity of the seat at home when they initiated earlier before they know that this thing is not working. You ask that guy a very good question. You say in 2017, 
when they release our leader? Did we do sit at home? Autopilot. That question is for all of you that are saying sit at home too. In 2017, when our leader came out, did we do to did we do sit at home? No. We have a strong legal team that are fighting for our leader. Michael Sokome is one of the renowned lawyer in this world. That man knows what he's doing. Compare with our 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 eminent lawyer. If I age of form, those are the best qualified lawyer when you go bring our leader out. All those things well, that they do when somewhere but they do it is implicating implicating our leader more. He wants our leader to be there so that he can be doing fundraising every day. And moreover, don't you see the way a Jimako who think is smart tie all the violence in Biafra land that every all those things that all those autopilot are doing, they are member of IPOB. Don't you see a lawyer, a man that call himself a lawyer? Who is saying IPOB is non-violence, and at the same time saying that uh, all those people that are doing something in Biafra land, they are loyal to Mars in Namibia? You see, just complicate. Just they Mazinan. put Mars in Namibia in more danger. More problem. Mars, please, do, please, uh, Mars, Jude, please. I would like you to round up, please. Uh, let yes, us. Yes, let me round up one you. minute. Thank you. All those things he said, Nigerian government have recorded it. The next court, they will play it for Mars in Of course, now on the next court, they will play it for him. They will play it live. You say? think you are doing it? You go see. Mazi, make a round for him. I bless you. Continue your good work. I bless you too. For all of us, we see, we live long to see this movie that is playing and live long to see Biafra in our time. In the name of Chuko Kike, Abiyama's name, I pray. He say? He say? Thank you, man. He say? He say? Great people of Biafra, freedom fighters. Lovers of freedom and well wishes. I greet you all for being here today. We are not going to stop. We will keep on explaining to our gullible people without missing any word. Because I know that some of our people, they lack ability to reason. That is why they are African people. They can't even reason. They can't even understand. That is why they will come out here and begin to tell you that DOS disappointed them. DOS didn't tell them where the, uh, their, their leader is. They want the leadership to begin to come out and begin to lie to them. And who started that narrative, that propaganda, that the leadership supposed to know is Ezebiro because he knows the key point. That is why he was holding there. But they are the leadership they're supposed to know. That is also the same lie they brought to me. Not only me, a lot of media warriors try to get them confused. But they don't know that we are learned people. We, 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 we think deeply and said, no, it's a lie. So I greet you all for listening. I thank you all, great people. I still remain your royal servant, Mazo Kinnao Kechuku, known as the general. From me, from here, it is good evening.